All right, for example B, we're going to do this one just a little bit differently. Again, we know that all three of our triangles are proportional. They're all similar in size, which means that the shortest side of any triangle, say the smallest triangle here, compared to the medium side, so the medium side of the smallest triangle would be here, of one triangle will be the same as the shortest side. So that would, for the medium triangle, that would be the x again, compared to the medium side of another triangle. So short compared to medium for one should be the same as short compared to medium for another because they're similar triangles, right? Well, if we start with this smaller triangle here, the smallest triangle, and then we'll do the medium triangle, medium sized triangle afterward, the smallest triangle, the shortest side is nine units. So it should compare to its medium side, which is side X, in the same way that the shortest side of the medium triangle, which is also X, compares to the medium side of the medium triangle, which is 27. So now we've set up a proportion. And we can just cross multiply. We can say that 27 times 9, which is 243, is equal to x times x, which is x squared. So then we just need to take the square root of both of those, and we get x equals the square root of 243, which would be 9 roots of 3. So that tells us that our medium side, our missing side here, is 9 square roots of 3. And we didn't have to worry about the other information at all. We didn't need it. We only needed this little bit right here. OK, let's take a look at example C. Example C, we're looking for two missing sides, x and y. And we have two sides. Actually, we have three sides. We know the longest side of the biggest triangle, because that's both of these put together, right? So we have 35, big triangle long side is 35. And then we know the medium side of the medium triangle, that would be 20. And we know the small side of the small triangle, that would be 15. Yeah? So what we're missing are these other bits and pieces here. Well, let's see. The small side of the big triangle would be y and the medium side of the big triangle would be x. The big side of the medium triangle is x, and the small side isn't labeled, it's z, we'll call it z. And then for the smallest triangle, the medium side is z, and the long side is y. So any one of these comparisons is gonna be the same, right? Anytime I pick two horizontally and the next two horizontally, or two vertically, and the next two vertically, they should be the same. So let's set up something to let us solve for x. Let's say that x over 20 should be the same thing as 35 over x. That's this little comparison up here, right? These two and these two. So then we have x times x is x squared, and we have 20 times 35, which is 700. 20 times, oops, 35 times 20, 700. So I was getting ready to do the square root there. Take square root of both of those, and we get about 26 and a half. So x is 26.5, we'll say, approximately. So that gives us this side here. That's one of the ones we wanted. And then for y, we just need another comparison that has y in it. Well, now we, we know x so we can throw it in. Let's just move on down. Let's take this comparison right here, these two, and mm, nope, I don't want to do that one because I don't know the next one over. I don't know z. How about, aha, 15 and y, and y and 35. So we have the smallest side and the largest side, and the smallest side and the largest side. So the small side of the big one is y, and the large side is 35. And the small side of the little one is 15, and the large one is y. That'll work. So we got 35 times 15. That's 525. And that's equal to y squared. And the square root of 525 is 23, approximately. Round it a little bit there. So this side is 23. And we're done.